Urban Ranger here, out in the sticks. Well, in the car, but I'm about to go out in the sticks. Wind speed is at 10 miles an hour with a uh, 15 degree Fahrenheit temperature. Uh, real feel is negative five. The mission is to make a shelter, something simple, a tarp shelter set up, and then use a stove to try to heat that shelter by re reflecting the radiant heat back onto me. And maybe, just maybe, have lunch. So we'll see, I had a pretty big breakfast, so, but hiking in should uh, hopefully give me an appetite. Uh, in any event, let's get this started. to my bug out site well emergency shelter site also I'm walking over ice um, in any event like I said 15 degree temperature out here the real field is minus four and or minus five I should say I know that the uh, wind speed wind direction I should say wind speed is 10 miles per hour wind direction it should be uh southeast east by southeast so i know to uh set my shelter up against that direction in order to get protection from the wind sounds like something is making its way through the trees maybe it'll catch a glimpse could be squirrels rabbits deer deer. Hopefully I'm getting it on camera. There are two of them. Awesome. Just awesome. got some deer off in the distance they're cautiously watching me and I'm watching them <laughs> awesome urban ranger here still out in the sticks um, today what I'm going to do is I'm going to put together an emergency shelter and um, I'm going to set up a camp stove to see if it will produce enough heat to warm the shelter. Right now I'm just going to uh, do a simple tarp shelter. Um, I'm going to have some ways to insulate myself. I'm going to see how much heat can be generated inside the shelter and if there's time I may even cook a meal. But I got to tell you guys it is really So I'm gonna set up 
my tarp now. So what I'm working on now is the ridge line. So on one end, I'm gonna do good old fashioned uh, Siberian hitch, is what, which is what I have here. Since I've got so much slack in the rope here, what I'm gonna do is, I'll show you guys a real quick trick. I will bundle this up. No, oh, actually we'll leave it alone. Got my, got my, uh, if you can see this, um, a lot of, a lot of line in here. So I'm gonna do my taut line hitch on this side. I'm gonna do a hitch over here. Okay, you're seeing this from my perspective. Awesome. Okay, so let's do this. Alright. Okay, you're seeing this from my perspective. Awesome. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stake this down first. I'm also testing out this fixed blade knife. So I'll see if I have a use for it. I'll see if not, you know, I just don't have a use for it. All right. All right. So I stake this down. Show you that. And actually, it turns out I will be using this guy. After all. I love this Siberian hitch. Uh, let me tell you. Okay. Twice. Oh, again. It's up here around that. Huh. And finally, clean that up a bit. Bring it here. Loop that through. See, this is when you start getting cold like this. This is when you want to throw in the towel and go home. <laughs> the problem is, if you're in a situation where you're using these skills beyond recreation. Okay, that's going to have to do it. I'm going to read. I'm going to redo that as soon as I get some feeling back in my All fingers. Right. So, I'm going to warm up a bit. Bear with me. Alright. Only my hands are cold. Everything else is pretty much fine. Especially considering that I'm wearing a kilt. So, <laughs> so yeah. Everything else is fine. And gaiters. Kilt and some gaiters. And I'm, I'm pretty warm now. Uh, Let us fix this right now. Before we go any further with this sheltering situation. All right. So, what we're obviously gonna do is use common sense. We're gonna slack out the static in till we get to the working end and then we're going to work with the working end and that is how we're going to do this for extra long cordage <laughs> instead of breaking the cordage off all right man guys all right so let me narrate a bit here and pontificate it is cold so it's a psychological game you have to understand, you have to know that at the end of this, you're going to have shelter. No ifs, ands, or buts. You're going to have, whoops, <laughs> hit the tree almost. Okay. So, in any event, having said that, this is what this is about. So, for me, I've been out here for some hours now. Um, 
So for me, this is paramount. Because even when I get back to my vehicle, it's still going to be cold. So I have to get shelter. I have to get warm. It's not an option. So just want you to keep this in mind. That it's a mindset. It's a mentality. You know, call it survivor's mentality. Whatever you want to call it. It's where your skills come in. All of the skills, you know. So, having said that, let's get this done. Alright, so boom. Once, twice. Forming that knot, cleaning that off. So what what uh, takeaway I have from this personally is to uh, meet measure out my cordage um, and for what you know what it is that I'm trying to do. All right. Instead of having these long hanks of cord in my bag just for the heck of it, you know, assuming that in the field I'm gonna just cut it, you know, which may be the case at times may not be okay like now I'm not cutting any I didn't hope I didn't lose a, a steak but I think I did because if it's here I don't see it I did not bring a metal detector no I don't think I lost it So, um, we basically have the shelter made. Basically, this is the way I want it. It is fine the way it is. Um, and from here, let's start the stove going. 
and uh, I'm going to go grab some bundles of wood, get it going, see if it'll warm our shelter up, and we can survive in it. Alright, we're back online. So, what I'm trying to do now is get the stove started and see if it's going to be enough to warm our little makeshift shelter. There we go. Now this time I'm using the um, hmm, this matches smell good. This time I'm using the um, wood chips, not the the um you know <laughs> twigs and stuff so all right let's see let's see how that goes knife real quick huh, what do you know i got a nice knife i want to get that down in there to hurry up and get this started because i'm unbelievable i'm getting a little cold So we're going to hope this is enough. Let's get this started. Okay. So I got that turned on. We'll let that uh, get a good burn. It's going to take a few minutes accordingly. So, what I did here, I just toggled, set up this stick toggle thing in order to open the shelter up a little bit. As you can see, the fire is, you know, this thing is kicking in. It's so, fortunately, I won't have enough time to make food. But we do have fire going. We got a little shelter going. Um, probably wouldn't want to bring it down some. To keep the wind off me, but it seems to be pretty good. Oh yeah, it's warm in here. It's warm in here. It's reflecting the fire back down off. Hands down. Well guys, it is doing it. It is reflecting this morning. It is reflecting heat back down. Uh, no complaints there. None. As I said before, unfortunately, I don't have time to fix something to eat. I won't have time to do that, but uh, if I did have the time, I would make a meal before hiking out of here. But no, it's, it's, it's good. It's good to go. Um, no complaints.
wood chips work like a charm, guys. And this is great for stealth. event this is definitely considered a success successful venture um got the bio light going fortunately i'm out of time you know fortunately i'm out of time but um did get the bio light going it is bouncing heat back in here and this is without using a mylar blanket which i have so again i'm pretty confident um, that I could rig something up. I can make this shelter a bit tighter, you know, cleaner, and um, definitely produce enough warmth to uh, to survive out here for uh, you know three a day or so, enough for people to rescue me or self affect self rescue. It's definitely feasible. So the BioLite uh, camp stove um, is a good option for this. Also with my cell phones it's going to keep it charged as well as the um the uh rev power solar charger that i have connected to the phone now um keeping it charged as i film uh, excellent piece of kit again the temperature out here is about 15 degrees no it is 15 degrees um gusts of wind hitting up to 17 miles per hour but the wind speed is uh 10 miles per hour and the uh, real feel they're saying is minus five but um, I've been out here for a number of hours, uh, for three hours and some change. But when I'm in the shelter, um, I can definitely get the, feel the heat from the bio light. It is in there. Um, I'm not saying it's totally warm. I'm ready to throw on some shorts. But it, it, it's a definite difference just inside there than it is standing out here. So there's a definite micro environment of warmth in here, in there with me. Uh, you know, so... I'm, you know, again out here. This is definitely Cold weather uh, survival. This is a shelter. Of course, if it began to snow or rain, I would have to make this an A-frame, and that would just change everything around. But as far as getting some heat, it is definitely reflecting heat back at me, um, which is, which is great. You know, BioLite is working. I am using the wood chips uh, instead of using, like I said, um, regular. Uh, 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 twigs and what have you now the thing with that though is is that uh, i'm gonna just have to practice with this thing and master using just twigs and stuff with this because that's what it's about that that's what is gonna have to happen you know in order to come out here and uh you know and thrive you know or if i'm out hiking and i get stranded this is one and i've got my bio light with me um now it's a bit of, it's like a rocket stove. You know, I would say it's a rocket stove because it has that chamber. So the difference with this, what I do like about, I love the BioLite for the fact that it's gonna trap that heat and funnel it. Um, unlike a canister stove, which they don't perform that well out here in the cold. But um, even more so is the fact that um, this thing is performing. You know, it, it, it's, it's got heat and it's doing its thing. Um, so yeah, it works, you know, hands down. Um, I think this is going to do it for me, guys. I'm going to kind of chill out and get ready to head home. So this was a success. Thanks for tuning in and watching. And remember, always be master of your environment.
Okay, so. Huh. Still recording. got the fire tornado going on this thing. I'm gonna bring you guys in and let you see what I'm seeing. Okay, so show you what the the bio lights doing. Uh, you probably I don't know how well you can see it but there's a definite fire tornado going. <sighs> there's the shelter set up. So what I did was of course So with this setup, with the bio light going, now I realize the weakness to this bio light is this: it will not be going all night long. I realize that, um, but it'll give you a temporary reprieve from the cold if you were in the situation. So what I wanted to show you was, uh, okay, I've got my got my ridge line, got this bent over here. I got some excess cord which I toggled here around this branch and this pretty much is the shelter what it's looking like from the back as the wind is coming in it's also cutting that wind which is also aiding to the warmth factor on this side I had to do another toggle as I have uh, some paracord coming from the grommet on this side of the tarp not the perfect setup not clean not pretty I've got to add some more grommet holes to this tarp in order to make it viable. So, just want to give you a, a look at the site. So I'm gonna kind of pan around here. All in all, this is what I have, guys. So um, I'll probably post this segment up on social media um, as well as YouTube. And uh, yeah, so this is what we're we're looking like as I. But um, yeah, this is the this is the campsite. This is what it's looking like. And um, yeah, hope you guys you know, definitely enjoy. Pick up some tips, get some ideas. So, like I said, this will do it for me. Um, building the channel up. Uh, I'll be teaming up with people, doing some things. Um, so just stay tuned. You know, this is part of the wrapping it up. I'm out here. I've been out here for hours. You know, <laughs> and so I love it. I love this time of year. But um, in any event, thanks for tuning in. Later.